Hello everyone, Deb Floros, guest designer for Rings and Things. I'm gonna make a bracelet for January babies. The birthstone for January is garnet, and these faceted crow beads are absolutely spectacular, and they look so amazing with these gold lustered Toho glass seed beads. I also use some really cool antique brass oval tag charms from JBB Findings. Now I grabbed some 19 strand beading wire and what I'm gonna be doing is creating a bit of a fidget bracelet. So I recently did one of these and I love the design. So these beads just screamed out for the same design. So I'm going to string on the size 11 seed beads and then I'm going to add a crimp tube and about 13 seed beads. Then I'm gonna pull the wire through the crimp and make sure that both strands of my wire are the same length. Then I'm going to crimp, creating a little bit of a loop at the end of one side of my bracelet. I'm then going to add those tags as a bit of a decorative element to one end of the bracelet. And I love how they look with these seed beads. Oh my gosh. Then I'm adding seed beads to the other strand of my wire and I'm just stringing on very methodically. This is a lot of seed beads to string on, but it's well worth the final result. Once I've got my two strands the equal length, I'm going to use bead stoppers and cut the other strand from my packaging. Then I'm gonna take those beautiful garnet beads and string them right on. And they slide right over those size 11s like butter. They are so beautiful. I just absolutely love them. Now these um, are in a small strand. So I used two strands of these beads and I put one strand on one of my uh, sides of my bracelet and then I strung on the rest. So I played around with different numbers of beads, but I really liked this particular one to be a little bit fuller. So I had beads, so I decided to split them evenly between those two strands. So I had two strands of the beads and put one on each side. Now you'll still have visibility of those seed beads, which is what you want. Now, I then take my two strands of beading wire and string a crimp tube over both of them. And very carefully, I crimp the end to attach them together. And you'll want to do a full crimp, not a flat crimp here, to make sure that your bracelet is secure because you're then going to cut off one of those strands. So you'll have one strand left to add another crimp tube to and then some additional seed beads and you're going to create a little frame for your lobster claw. So I strung on some of the seed beads, the lobster claw, more seed beads, and then I strung through that second crimp tube and then I pulled it tight and then I crimped and that will allow us to have a matching loop at this end of the bracelet. And you'll need to be very careful crimping there as well, but this is another opportunity to use those tags. So I attached a couple more at that end and it just added a nice little accent. This bracelet is absolutely spectacular and a bit of a fidget bracelet if you must. So pick up these pieces from ringsandthings.com and you can make the same thing. Thanks so much for watching.